When you go to a Canadian fly-in lake where maybe, or maybe you're even a drive-to camp where you're using camp boats and you're doing a non-guided adventure like Jeff and I are today, it's really important to have some sort of electronics. If you're an ice fisherman, bring your ice fishing unit just so you can get the depth and the structure. As long as this part is touching a little bit of water, you'll be able to tell how deep you are, if there's any fish down there. It's really key, especially when you're going into non-guided ad adventures and, and you don't really know the lake. I'm Larry Ladowski, and that's another Midwest Outdoors tip. Majority of the shorelines will be empty and devoid of fish, but when we're fishing docks like this, what I like to do, I'll skip underneath the pier and I'm gonna look for openings under the pier. So next to the posts and for largemouth in this regard, which I got one right now, you know, that fish was sitting right under the pier, right next to a dock post. And that's how I was able to catch him just now. When we're shore fishing like this and targeting docks, 90% of the fish are only in 10% of the lake. So make sure you're target shooting the piers. And that's my tip. I'm Andrew Ragus of Midwest Outdoors.